So Symphony has ballet today and she is outgrowing all of her ballet clothes, her shoes, everything. And I'm here at Kid to Kid in Rockwall and we're gonna see if we can find some stuff. I called earlier and I think they've got a pretty, a, an okay selection. It's not like I want a ton of stuff, just like one or two little things. home and he's giving Abram little treats that mommy doesn't give him. I just got symphony that too. That's all. These two were happy to be reunited this morning. It was very sweet. I'm done. I, I saw a picture of him that my mom posted on Facebook and he looked so much like me. I've never seen a picture of him where he looked that much like me. Oh, that was so cute. I was just like, oh my gosh, that's my son. He looks just like me. It's a mini me. Oh, it is a mini you in very many it ways. Just, what? just made me want to understand him better. Why? I wanted to I know, know what you I meant just, by that. Like, he looks like me. He's just like, you know, he's going to have the same struggles that I have. And but if he didn't. <laughs> I do. What? But if he didn't look like you, I mean, I'm sure once he gets know, older, you just, think about it. But yeah, when you were saying it and you're texting, I don't know. Like that. There's just something about it that he looked like me that just made it. I wonder if you saw something in his eyes that like you related what was his to. Eyes? I kept covering up this part. It was just like it looked like me. I was looking in my own eyes. Guys, we have a small issue. I can't do my signature braid anymore with my hair. The top layer is just too short. It's gonna have to grow out. It just keeps falling. Like even when I put bobby pins in, it's still just like little pieces keep falling out. So yes, I'm gonna be doing away with the braid for the next few weeks until it grows out just a little bit more. So the braid was kind of like my go-to hairstyle when I don't get to wash my hair, especially when Sam works nights. I don't always have the time to wash, blow dry, style my hair. What are you doing? Did you go poo poo? So anyways, me and the kids are gonna go do discipleship with um, Esther and her kids today at a park. We have not met with the kids in like two months, I think. It's been a long time. The last time we met, we met at a coffee shop and that's always really fun. But our kids just play so good together. Sorry, I'm really still just trying to wake up. Uh oh, I think someone saw a bug. Did you see a bug? Where is it? Oh no, it's okay. Mommy will get the bug, watch. Bye bye bug. Come here baby. Okay guys, so I guess this is going to be my alternative to the braid. It took a little more effort and I feel like my dry shampoo totally like messed with the color right here, but I'm just tired of rubbing it in. You guys are so sweet. Thank you for all the sweet comments about my hair. I don't know if one of you said you didn't like it, so I really appreciate it. I really feel kind of like I missed the blonde streaks that are in my hair because it gave my layers some definition. I have really fine flat hair. And when you have um, like a light color peeking through a dark color, it kind of gives you volume. That's why I did my hair like that for so long. So anyways, off to the park. Um, I don't like to vlog at my discipleship meetings because we just are talking about deep stuff. We're, we're in, you know, kind of a heavy conversation and also watching our children. And there's just kind of not room for the camera. If my attention gets diverted to anything, it needs to be my kids. And so that's why I really don't ever vlog there. But you guys want to see what the kids look like first? Abram, hey sporty boy. I've been like trying really hard to maintain his hair and look at these beautiful curls. Symphony dressed herself this morning. Turn around, let's show him your hair. She asked me to straighten her hair because it's getting longer. So we're just trying to see how long it gets. There it is. Got sporting some coral jeggings with her lace and gray polka dot shirt. Pearls in the hair. Discipleship went great. We had a very good conversation. We shared some prayer requests with one another and you know, kind of gave advice and talked about some scripture we're gonna be reading this next week and I'm excited. So I would thought I would share with you guys a scripture we're gonna be reading. So maybe you might wanna read it along with me and I would tell you how we're doing it. So we're gonna be reading the book of Colossians and as we read it, we highlight the verses that stand out to us or that speak to us or that have anything to do with like what's going on in our life right now. And then we, we share them with each other and usually we highlight different Different things and for different reasons and sometimes we'll highlight the same thing for two different reasons like the Lord spoke to us in two totally different ways with one uh, scripture okay I had to get to a stop before I could finish my thought but yeah if you guys want to read along with me while we do that it could be kind of like our own little YouTube Bible study or something so Symphony has ballet today and she is outgrowing 
all of her ballet clothes, her shoes, everything. And I'm here at Kid to Kid in Rockwall and we're gonna see if we can find some stuff. I called earlier and I think they've got a pretty, a, an okay selection. It's not like I want a ton of stuff, just like one or two little things. So Symphony's got her first leotard on. She says she likes it and it feels good, let's see. It's got some sparkles, it's shiny on the skirt. got like little hearts and jewels up here. What do you think, Symphony? Beautiful. What do you think of this one? It's too tight. Is it? Turn around, let me see. Yeah, it does feel a little bit tight. Let's see the front of it. It's got pretty jewels right there. Okay, so these first two are the winners. They're the best price and they fit her the best. She thinks they're the prettiest. So we're gonna go with it. So that was a great deal. I'm really glad I came to kid to kid Some people on Facebook suggested it to me. I got two leotards with shiny little decorative things on them for $12. Woo -woo! This is how we do with bottom, bottom. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Can we listen to that song? We grew up in the 90s. Some of these songs just kind of stick and they, they tend to roll into my parenting skills occasionally. When I'm teaching something, I'll just bust out with. This is how we do it. What's up, peeps? How you guys doing? Getting ready to go to work again. Work. work. Yeah, I'm going to work. And Abram's pooping at the table. Mm -hmm. Abram, why do you always take the opportunity at dinner to go poo poo? <laughs> Can you say I love you? No. Abraham's been saying I love you very well lately. Oh, I love you. What? Mama. Did you guys hear him say? Mama. Say, say Mama. I love you. Mama. Yeah, it's the camera. Can you say I love you? I love you. Aww. Are you ready to go for a walk? Yeah, now you're ready. All right, say walk. Uh. All right, so it's time for my daily walk without Symphony. I'm not running today, I'm just not feeling it. I feel kind of crummy today, but I still want to exercise. Playlist is Unspoken. This is my favorite album right now. It's a Christian album, and I think it's pretty old. It's like 2013 or 14, I don't know. But anyways, it's really good. You guys should check it out. It's pretty uh, motivational. Motivational? It's pretty motivational while you're running. See the trees, Bubby? Can you say tree? Say tree. 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 Good job, those are the trees up there. Whoa. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Here comes my hand. It's gonna get you. It's, it's gonna get you. <laughs> I did a mile and a half today, not two miles. You wanna snack? Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Are you showing them all the paint? So I told you guys a couple of weeks ago that I have been working on counting to two with Abram. Well this week I started practicing one, two, three with him and he did it today loud and clear for Esther at discipleship. He said, uh, two feet. Just like that. But now he's skipping yeah. two. Can you say one, two, three? Yeah. Oh, I give up. You don't want to do it. Do you want to go take a bubble bath? I bubble. Oh, let's go. Come here, buddy. We're gonna play blocks. It's time to learn. So I'm gonna try to teach him S for sissy. Say S. A. Say S. A. For sissy. A. S. S. Sissy. Good job. Can you find the S? Which one's S? A. Can you pick up the S? Good job, baby. This one's the S. S. No, this one's S. You have N. Can you trade me? I want you to have S. Say S. Say S. Sissy. Nanya. S. Sissy. 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 
I don't know if Sam has already told you guys this before, but teaching a child around Abram's age something right before bed, like nap or bedtime, is really like beneficial to their brains because they go to bed and then they think about it. That's the last thing they think about before they go to sleep. And from what I understand, they think about it like all while they're sleeping and stuff like that too. So I'm not sure. I don't have any of the statistics in front of me. But Sam and I did research at one time to figure out, you know, like how helpful it was. And it, it's proven to be really helpful that if you teach them something right before bed, they're, they're more likely to remember it than if you just teach it to them at a random time of the day. Anyways, guys, I'm going to say goodnight to you all so that I can get my job done when Abram goes to bed. Abram, can you tell everybody goodnight? Uh, no. Nah. Night, night. Night, night. Tell everyone, say, don't forget. Say, don't forget. Block, you're so cute. You hear basketball in there? All right, well, since Abram's not going to say it, I guess I'll say goodnight. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you liked our video and come back tomorrow to see what kind of fun stuff the Raiders uh -uh. have in store. And don't forget, guys, we love you. And remember to love each other.